And I'm back. I really should finish Celeste one of these days. More like start it again, because my only experience with it is the first two chapters as two players, so it doesn't really count. Anyway. Let's make a delivery. Hmm... Alright, we can zip to here. I could put another one here. Probably yeah, somewhere there. And then... But is the zip line really going to be necessary for the first step? Probably not. Okay, we are going to place the marker here. Dude, I just spoke so, to you. Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Well, not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. You can't lose but yourself because you would never realize you lost yourself. Cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock. His Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Okay, there's an email about BTs not affected by my blood. How are things, Sam? Have you hit the coast yet? You can't be far off, I'll bet. You'd be pleased to hear that the local porters are doing the best in your absence, and those hematic grenades you brought are making a huge difference. Speaking of all things thematic though, we've received a report that suggests there are some BTs out there that aren't affected by blood. The BT in question glowed bright red, apparently, and the poor porter who ran into it barely lived to tell the tale. They brought plenty of hematic grenades with them, but they didn't seem to do the trick. As you can imagine, this is a seriously concerning development. I mean, your blood was the only weapon we had against those things. What are we supposed to do now? Sure, they're bound to have some kind of vulnerability we can exploit, but how many of us are going to have to die finding out what that might be? Anyway, consider yourself warned, Sam. Be careful out there. So we are going to meet some... My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. I don't care. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> We're gonna run into BTs. way yeah I guess I could go that way but I can't really build one right um probably not the best idea right here actually um Great. Good to have you back. Been 
we made it this far without you. Yeah, I don't think I can... Yeah, no network. Yeah, we're not too far off. Nope. Keep going this way. I don't think it's visible from here. I don't see any red. Oh, there it is. That one is red. Hmm, where's my goal again? to the left. Oh. It's over there. I guess I'm gonna have to go this way. It is to the right. Oh, there's another one over there. Yep. Let's walk in the middle. Oh shit. Container is damaged. How damaged are we talking? 81. I need to...
how bad are we talking now? Yeah, that's gonna get damaged, alright. Cut the umbilical cord, can I? Sam, it looks like one of your containers has been compromised. Oh, really? No need to panic. So long as you don't drop it, the contents shouldn't sustain any damage. And if the cargo itself is okay, then your eval won't be affected. Just take a little extra care from here on out, and you'll be fine. Good luck. I just that fix it? A tiny bit. A very tiny bit. Good. Can I just go? And container ruined. And another. is really low. Stacking. Never heard of it. What is it about? Is it about making fat stacks? Yeah, I think the cargo is... I guess only the container. Play as uh, Matryoshka dolls. Okay. Oh, what's the objective? Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Bridge, though. I get here in time, but then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I'm sorry to see these meds. 
I guess you really are good at what you do. Huh. Thank you. I'll need to look it up. So, what, what, what is it kind of like? Puzzle ish kind of game? Elite transporter. You it would not be harder for you to lose con you can lose consciousness. Since when? Oh yes, right then. <laughs> if you do the honors. If I do the honors of lowering the volume, sure. box. I'm guessing it's on PC. Lobbing Anchor 2. And an interview. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. I guess it's a double fine. Further information. Oh no, it's a pizza. Yes, Double Fine Productions. Their games could be interesting. Oh, you played it as well? What did you think of it? Cheap and fun. The kind of thing Zack is into. Hmm. Okay, let's send the bot to Mountain Knot City and deploying autonomous delivery. Hmm. Hmm. 
as if I was on top of the mountain here, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to... put some kind of... 7-2... Yeah, if I put it there, I can easily... a zipline connection between them yeah that would work assuming I can get up there easily doesn't look like that's the case hmm. I wish we could Get a better look. Maybe I can. I'm gonna have to go back to Hartman's. I would like a puzzle game that scratches a certain itch. More compact, neighbors more, and could be packed into a single container, also both improves durability and time for resistance. Hmm, huh. that is good. Um, uh, what else do I want? I take another PCC. I'll take on an order. Let's recycle the container spray that I completely used up. Let's bring a bunch of PCCs. I'll carry two. And the container repair. I take a ladder. Maybe I'll take a ladder. Oh, my battery was draining because of the thermal pad. to recycle. Mm -hmm. It's about time I also look into replacing the skeleton. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, Sam. No can do, Sam. Structures hey, can't be built up. close together. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Where does the generator want? Beginning scan. Scanning 
Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. How can get another PCC? Sam Porter Bridges. No, I cannot. Let's all give them some crystals. Fifty is good. Three now, it's fine. Let's make it spray. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, we could. Certainly put one up there. Very doable. I will place one right here. Is it blind? Let me put it that side. I think I can climb that. Construction complete. Hey Lopez. It's been alright. An interesting week. How about you? Prepping for new edition? Edition of what? Or new edition? You having another kid? Lopez version 3.0? Oh. oh, you are. I thought this is sec your second kid. It's your second kid, it'll be version 3.0 because you're version the climbing in this game. What do you mean you're 0 0.1?
could put it here, but nah, I'm gonna go up. Higher. And I go even higher. The container is damaged. Perfect. Let's do this. Hmm. Now, if I were to put another one. Yeah, someone like that. I could basically zip line from this to that. But before anything, let's save. I'm alright. Had to go to a funeral earlier in the week. Then, well, kind of the same time, dislocated my shoulder. So uh, it was fun. Huh. And no, you didn't have to name your new kid after me, but I appreciate it all the same. Should I just repair the container? I wonder how many streamers named their kids Twitch. I'd be really interested to know how many actually. Definitely more than zero. Shit, this got destroyed. And I'm not carrying another skeleton.
So the impact on my carrying capacity and how quickly I move is pretty drastic. Uh, how far is that one? And what level is it? Structure level two. Um, if I were to create one, not possible. If I were to create one, calm down. done I think Thomas is going to name his next kid Twitch Hey Storm, it's been a while. How are you? Construction complete. I think Lopez is just naming his kids first, second, and third. Yeah, I do know it's Kate. I wasn't sure which we preferred, so I went to the actual handle. Um, let's dismount. Okay. If you prefer that, then... Not this one. I'm all right. Busy week. I can't really complain. Have you had a good week? There, there is always a way to torment him. Always. When Discord exists. Yeah, I really should have been making zip lines way earlier. Really, he can't help himself. When he says stuff, he doesn't think it through. And when he's not here, there's always Thomas. You can get all kinds of things from Thomas. Heck, I'd venture to say... 
There are more amusing clips from Thomas than Sniper. I know it might be hard to believe, but... And Thomas is not here, so I could talk shit all I want. I have another PCC, I do not. But I could always make one. Oh, Thomas gets the meanings, he just doesn't realize that I could always make a clip out of it. Like this one, for example. <laughs> I will not stick my dick in it. He says that, then I could always make will it not happen. into... <laughs> I will stick my dick in it. Will not happen. Now, which one is the real one? Who knows? Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. One of those is real, one of those is edited. Maybe both of them are real. Actually, now that I remember, I should do this. I keep forgetting it. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Here we go. Oh, new hologram. Yeah, both of them are real. If they exist on the soundboard, they are real. Thank you for your continued support. Good work. New order available. Please. Um, let's recycle. I didn't realize you streamed. There you go. Delivering cargo. I stream, but the times I stream are outside my hands. If my ISP feels like making me stream, I will stream. If not, I just one stream. Um, so yeah, let's make a skeleton altering. I don't have a level 2 all terrain, right? I just standard one. I will remove the pad. Thermal pad, not another kind of pad. Is there a charger? No, there isn't a charger nearby.
Let's make a charger. My mission is to be the best DHL person there ever was. I deliver parcels. And no, I'm not making shit up. I literally deliver parcels. And most of the nodes are not actually on the map, so I need to actually go around. And add them to the network. Let's build one here. Well, I'm kind of a nurse, if you think about it, because I do deliver a baby. Well, I'm carrying a baby all the time. So I guess you could say I'm a pregnant delivery person. Construction complete. Let's build a generator. Now then. Hmm. Okay, the next point is going to be somewhere here, I think. So... Let's get the materials. Oh, you love the snow until you actually play this game. Then you're gonna hate snowy mountains, you're going to hate mountains, and you're gonna hate whoever created mountains. And then you'll question your life's decisions. Not that you don't already, but you'll question them even more. Listen up, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Yeah, I'm carrying a bomb. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece. Speak of the sniper. We were just praising you, singing songs, praising you. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten. Why is this guy so loud? To be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. You think I'm going to no, take a it. vehicle to this mountain? What is wrong with you? charge our battery and then okay if I take this route down here and then we'll figure something out how many PCCs do I have three mm, I can manage with three
weapons restrictions lifted. Caught in a storm. Is it a time fall storm? Okay, to be clear, Sniper is talking about, you know, the, sack, the kind of sack you carry, not the kind of sack you... Well, you're kind of carrying both, aren't you? How would I describe it? The one on your back. Not the one you teabag with. Is that clear? Just time fall, it's not BTs. It's not British telecoms. What? Fuck you, game. I shouldn't talk. You've got company. He is um, somewhere preparing to say good work, Sam. Or maybe he's somewhere, you know, being dead or hard. One of the two. I do need a new pair of gloves. Yeah. This constant storm is. Always there. And you don't always hear the wind, so it's kind of a silent storm. The worst kind of storm. Well, don't they call corpses stiff? I don't make the rules. I don't know what you meant. And yes, there are invisible enemies, Kate. So yeah, fun times. box. You know what? I've delivered a couple of pizzas. I 
And I just got an email telling me to deliver another one. Man, that headprint is so flat. It reminds me of my footprints. It's really pizza. And I'm pretty sure I'm delivering it to the antagonist of this game. I should, maybe I should drink. Yep, I also deliver pizzas, I deliver art pieces, I deliver bombs. I don't know about drugs though, at least not yet. Die. I didn't need to kill it, I just did. him twice if you consider that meeting him I'm also pretty sure he's Sam's father not actually after the BB I'm carrying, he's kind of after me, but he doesn't realize it's me. That's my theory, at least. Construction complete. Is there um Yep, that's gonna be there. Shit. Our goal is this way. I don't know why I. Yeah, we still have two. You're right, yeah.
whose idea was it for this thing to make sounds? And how can it... How can BTs differentiate between... Human sounds and... You know, mechanical ones. Are we there yet? Can we just get out of this area? Next one will be somewhere down there. Oh great. Container for the bomb is damaged. Construction complete. And it's only a bomb. What's the worst that could happen? enough. I should pr probably repair the container for the bomb, but it's only a bomb. Are you fucking kidding me? Press both shoulder buttons and then... Yeah, it put me back here. Great. All of that wasted. I'm pretty sure I saved halfway through. The game does not auto save enough. Build a structure, it should auto save. an Admiral Hackett, I would have went out a long time ago. Also, this game knows what it's doing. It pushes you to go through an area knowing full well there is a scripted BT encounter. There are places where you always find BTs. You know what you should do with an umbilical cord from those BTs? You should hack it out. Well, in the very beginning of the stream, I fought him. I made sure 
to deliver a few shots to his face. Oh, we don't have the power gloves anymore. That's probably why we um, couldn't grip, probably. Yeah, I kept cocking and shooting his face. You know, pulling it back and forth and shooting him. The shotgun, that is. Fragile has a resting board face. Then again, everyone in this game looks perpetually bo uh, bored. Can't blame them, they keep waiting for deliveries. Is it because you're making noise? Why is your hand getting wet? Who are you with right now? I didn't realize you had a finger maiden, sniper. I thought you were maidenless. We can still put it further. Don't give me the option of equipping some equipping something that is out. What brand of kitchen towels do you use, Sniper? 
because there are some really absorbent ones. there. You're kidding me, right? Take a sip of that beverage. Is this a good position? Okay. Right here. And then another one there. You know what? I don't like the way you're... Looking at me, so... Welcome back. Oh shit. Do not fall. Why are you referring to BT as your grand? That's rude. I mean, I know getting hit by a stick would cause death, but I wouldn't necessarily call that BT. Hundred meters, not far enough. All right, put it here. And since we are out of BT area, we could save. And actually, since we are here, I could also a container repair spray has some stuff in it. Uh, let's put the bomb down. Your right select to that. Mm. 
Okay, I mean it's better than nothing. Construction complete. Do another save, so I wouldn't have to repeat that. So what kind of restaurant did you go to? The bad kind. I remember going to a restaurant in Rome and the food was bad. With my mother and yeah, we just left. And the guy was like, um, what's wrong with the food? And everything was really awful that there isn't a good spot to start talking about it. I never had fish or any any food actually that salty. The only thing I could taste was salt, salt, and salt. I mean, it was fried fish, but it was just salt, salt, and more salt. And then because of how we... I mean, the fish was extremely oily as well. So there really wasn't any positive aspect of the meal. And when we said we just wanted to leave and he asked, you know, what's wrong with it? And I just told him, yeah, yeah nothing. I mean, let's put it this way, the food was saltier than Sniper playing Apex. go down. Guess I can walk. I'm gonna slip. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna slip. I cannot go down here. What do you mean it's difficult to mess it up? The fact that you can't get good kebab in the UK that isn't greasy as fuck tells you a lot about how difficult it is. I mean, I'm not talking about going to a Turkish restaurant or a Persian restaurant because those are exempt. Generally, it's good there. I mean, that shit is greasier than a banker's hair. Can we make it down? <laughs> Holy shit. I thought I was dead. That bomb has no protection. I 
this is how I was born, really. Who the fuck sends a bomb a delivery? Maybe they were just, you know, being polite. I mean, if you were the one cooking, then they were definitely being polite. I do not want to slip. That's the most important part here. Do not slip. It says a lot that I don't know any of this music. Let's save again. This kind of music, when you are carrying a bomb, does not fit well. Okay, you are carrying a bomb. Here is some music for you. You're listening to Explosion FM. The only kind of music you listen to when you're carrying a bomb. He runs like a toddler with a full diaper. I'm sorry, he just does. Okay, there is a base, but how do we get down without damaging the bomb? Pretty sure that's going to be rough. I'm to slide. slip Wow, well, I didn't actually slip Was a sudden stop. Scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID uh, verified. Why are they carrying a lot of I'm not going to be locked until departure. Cargo <gasps> verified. Thank you. <sighs> uh, 
this. I don't carry too much cargo. Fine, I'll offload one. Do you even lift? Let's pretend I didn't think that was the actual entrance. Huh. Yeah, if you're about to fall, just crouch. I'm not going to get an A with the speed. Appreciate it, friend. I'm not your friend. To you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all. Though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Oh, an S. Set up the chiral network while I work. Good. Time to lower the volume. I love the audio mixing in this game, it's phenomenal. Oxygen mask. We need level two. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. What? The local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But... Enough with the, the nerd talk. What do you need? This is the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that Ammonite being lost. You know what this game needs? New order available. Please you know in, in Metal Gear, when you're doing a codec call in Metal Gear Solid 2, and you can push the shoulder buttons for Snake or Raiden to say random shit. They needed that when you're speaking to the guys with the hologram.
A ver. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Use R2 to transfuse blood into the grenade. The ability to decide exactly how much blood to use enables precise control over the effect length, area of effect, and strength of the effect when the grenade detonates upon impact. The more blood, the longer lasting and more powerful the anti-BT effects will be. Many blood bags are equipped. These will be drained first, can potentially drain a lot of Sam's blood from his body, so take care to avoid anemia. Okay, I could... We can make two PCCs, I think. Make power glove. We have one hematic grenade, we can make three of this. Insufficient materials. this thank you for your contribution there isn't a charger right no there isn't maybe we should build one can't build something here right I swear if you call me Die Hardman, I will slap the shit out of you. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. <clears throat> clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Doesn't have any robot orders. Ah, that is far. Very far. Well. Will you be giving me a mask? No, you will not. I already have one. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, let's pick up some... Oh, I need to donate some crystals. Um, I'll give them some crystals. Not that many. Thank you for your contribution. 
Alright. all the way down there, right? So when I'm down there, I can make another one. Construction complete. I could also put one here. Or the lazy kind. destination because their treating destination is the origin point construction complete ah. okay um let's put on the mask Since no one will care about me until I put on the mask. Um. Oh. I heard his breathing, I thought it was a lion for a second. Who the hell farted in here? Oh. Why do I always try and make it the long way around? I might get it eventually, just so I can talk shit about the game even more. You know me, that kind of thing. outside. Maybe on a discount, possibly, but I have a shit ton of things to play. My backlog is getting longer and longer. Not that kind of backlog, Sniper. Water detected. Right, that's an easy way out. I mean, when I, I'm done with this, assuming I finish before the third, I will play the DLC for Ghost of Tsushima. And then after that, 
well, we just have to figure it out then. very quick. Scan. So I've been carrying this ladder for a while. I don't think I really need it. All weapons will be lost until departure. Cargo verified. Preserved. Uncannily, even. Hmm. Volcano Orange. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes. It did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evodeva biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. Hmm. New order available. Right, there are bots. Well, let's... Do this. Deploying. Okay, where is this going? There is a mountain. Which I could climb. I will have to climb it. Carrying thirty seven kilograms. I probably do need at least one. Of course, there's going to be BTs. I need at least one PCC to put it at the top of that mountain. All right, let's go then. I'm not carrying any PCCs. Let's take two. Mm. Yeah, it's a BT area. Have my bombs. Not actually carrying a lot, but I am going to be picking up stuff, so 
It's all for the best. Thank you for everything. Yeah, I'm taking that. I suspect I'm going to use it. Okay. Goal now is to the right. Right there is where we're going to put the How far is it? Three forty six. Uh, I'm going to need one. Somewhere there. Let's make one. Yeah, my shoe is almost worn out, but I have an extra pair. It's not really a problem. Construction complete. There we go. Yeah, I'm building a lot of zip lines today, which is something I should have been doing all along. Oh, that is really far. Oh, no, that's okay. Hmm. I probably should have gone that way. See the point. No. Probably not the best part. Who cares? Come on, come on. Construction complete.
pick that up. Nice. Um. Yeah. I do have climbing ropes, but if I don't need to use them. I won't use them. No way to see the thing up and down. That's just scripted BT. I'm just trying to figure out if there is a spot I can actually see the. Nope, there isn't. Whatever. Just not close enough. Should you see them? Oh, there's a lot of chiral crystals. Three, two.
Is this the quickest way? No. Let's use the level ones first. Hmm. This is number five. There's two. This one I will use. Nope, that is a waste. It was it. This guy does not give a shit about his friends dying. Big guy. No thanks. Yeah, it is a pretty big guy. How are you not dead? Neither is this guy. Did they just not die? Radial menus. Okay, that's it. One of those that don't die.
This will be a lot of crystals. Killing everything. There isn't really a reason to do that. you had to stay quiet. Um. One of them don't die in one now. Might as well get the crystal. I could get around it. I need to waste more. Grenades. Um, you know what? Someone's got cold feet. Forget what I just said. You 
moving this way. Or not. I don't really need this. Hold on. Orders. wasn't responding to pressing the square button. I don't know why. You've always been tempted to get Armored Core Sniper. Or is this new? And I'm completely out of bombs, and I need to head in the opposite direction where I'm going.
Nope. Don't. I think I'm also completely out of blood bags. I have one. Yeah, the last Warlong DLC was out on the 12th, I believe. Same day as the God of War DLC. They're going to release a complete edition. And honestly, from what I saw, the changes and improvements are not as big as Neo. So, at this point, whatever. You could also get Stranger of Paradise, which is almost always on discount now. Team Ninja generally does a lot of discounts. I mean, Neo Collection was 50% off, which is why I've been pushing Thomas to get it. He's played the base game of one because it was with PS Plus and he never actually bought it with the DLCs. Uh, he's played the first one. Apparently, it was the first game he streamed. Can I save now? That was hectic. Probably could have done it quicker. But it's fine. Is a cargo damage though. Cargo is fine, only the container. I always thought if the container gets damaged fully, then the cargo starts getting damaged, but that wasn't the case. It's really not a problem. And if he liked Neo 1, then he'll probably love 2. Or he would like it even more, because 2 is just a step up. It's not always that the sequel is an upgrade but in almost every way, but this is a perfect example of that. It builds up on the first game very well. I'm looking forward to Rise of the Ronin. I mean, Stranger of Paradise was not as good as Neo. Nowhere near as good. Wallong also not as good. But Rise of the Ronin might be interesting. I mean, neither of those games was bad, but it's just not as good as Neo. Doesn't have the depth in the system, doesn't really have the variety as well. I didn't think the different weapons had well, I didn't feel like they were that much different in Wolong. 
apart from martial arts, and those were randomly obtained with a weapon. I'm impressed, Sam. Are Not you? Many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Yeah, check a look. Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. It's not too confusing, but I do forget it at times. It's... the position is like a star. So if you know which direction each one is in, you know strength or weakness. Now, connect me to the chiral network. That's good for That's lower the volume. I hear the final DLC for Wolonga is not easy in terms of the final boss. I mean, the first Wolong DLC final boss was strong. Second one, slightly less so, but I still think it was very tough. Or maybe about the same level. But I heard a lot of people struggled with the third DLC final boss. So it's going to be a pain to stream. I might do that after Ghost of Tsushima, assuming I... Excuse me, grenade launcher. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. I could have told you that from the beginning. It and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect. No, I think you saw the Those first one. Disadvantage organisms. The one that keeps flying around. As they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all. A choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar. Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? I do. Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery to... Right, let's do some recycling. One issue I had with Wolong is you don't really die all that much from normal enemies. It's just the bosses that end up killing you. Thank you. 
Okay, this is in order. Time sensitive. Thank you for your contribution. New ranked event. Whatever. I don't care. Um. Yeah, if I take a PCC, put it somewhere here, maybe I could just take two PCCs. This would be on the safe side. And we have that. Dog bags, we need a couple, so take three. And let's make a few grenades. Three, okay. Twenty minutes. Deliver six or more. Let's do that. Premium delivery. Use this. Presumably, it can take me up there. Because if it can't, I'm gonna be very annoyed. <laughs> the fuck? I pointed at that. That's the one I hurt myself, right? And now it's not. Okay. Yeah, we can put one up there. It should take us to Hoffman's lab. Yeah, if we put one here, go there, and yeah, I think that'll be enough. It'd be a great way to connect. Both sides of the map. 
Yeah, I should have been building this shit a long time ago. I need to point to the one I want. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. That is silly. Recycle those. Delivery display. Hey, really? concerning new items has been shared with you. You can now make more strand contracts. I have not done one of those. I have no idea how to do it. You can now make more upgrade cooperation requests. No idea as well. The for which you can send likes has been increased to 7 seconds. Your sync level with other players has increased by 10%. No idea what that means. More strand contracts, more cooperation requests, and longer like duration. Thank you for your continued support. Good work. New order available. Please access... some emails spiritualist snapshot of ages pass sam do you recall the handprint you bought me well i hope you're sitting down because when i analyze it i discovered that it was 65 million years old this back to the late cretaceous period when the dinosaurs became extinct i know i did fear that perhaps it was just the rock 
and the Dwayne J Johnson himself had been added much later, but that seems not to be the case. Could someone have traveled through time via the beach in order to leave it? If not, how could it possibly have been made? I plan to look into the matter further and will get in touch when I learn more. If you happen to stumble across anything that might shed light on this mystery, you'll let me know too, won't you? The last meal, only pizza will suffice. My dear Mr. Sam Bridges, once again it is I, Peter Englert, who is totally not Higgs, and once again I must implore you to fulfill an urgent request. I speak, of course, of pizza. Before you declare me unforgivably selfish, know that on this occasion I write you on behalf of my elderly father, who has been fiendishly out of sorts of late, as even divulged to me his dreams of the beach. You can imagine how I felt upon hearing such dreadful news. I fear he may not be long for this earth, and that being the case, I cannot bear the thought he might shuffle off this mortal coil, having never sampled the transcendental delights you deliver. Could you per help me grant him this final kindness by ferrying a dish in question from Mountain Knot City? My father has often spoken of his fondness for salami. If you could ensure that this last supper is topped with a copious serving of said sausage, you would die a happy man indeed, I am sure. Dear Sam, thanks to you the chiral contamination is all cleared up. Nasty symptoms though, dizziness, headaches, insomnia. At first I was worried it was all down to my isolation in the shelter and the intense focus on my research for the past year. But it got real bad when the nightmare started. I saw the end of the world, the portal to the beach opening and BTs pouring through by the thousands. There was nowhere to run, no time, and they began scooping us up one by one. And then the void outs came, bigger and bigger, until a massive one, or several massive ones, enveloped the whole world. And poof, just like that. When I told Hartman about it, he likened it to the visions of extinction doom sufferers tend to experience. It's strange though, after all, we now have it in we have incontrovertible proof that Chiralium is far from a recent addition to our world. Anyway, that's a problem for a different day. The important thing is that I'm cured, and it's all thanks to you. Chiral Network connects people, past and present. How are you, Sam? In good health and good spirits, I hope. I have to say, the chiral network is quite impressive. Ever since you hooked up, hooked the shelter up, my life has become much more exciting. I've been able to procure all sorts of goods that I had never seen before, and I've noticed quite a number of new structures going up nearby as well. I should also mention that I managed to unearth some old research data that might offer some insight into the, some of the more unusual phenomena you might have experienced firsthand. I'm sure you have a vivid recollection of your many experiences in the seam. But it turns out that the person wandering around it that you may have identified as yourself may not be you at all, but someone else entirely. You see, while everyone's beach belongs to them and them alone, the seam is an altogether different beast. I've read about people who had near-death experiences that involved the seam. When they came across this someone else there, they found themselves somehow saved by them in the real world. They'd even received care packages and the like in some instances. Remarkable, you degree. You might even say that the chiral networks have bridged the gap between this world and that in more ways than we realized. Now, I still don't know who this someone else actually is. The fact that they're in the seam, though, would suggest that it's someone who died, wouldn't it? Someone from the past. So in essence, the past is intervening to keep the present alive. It's comforting to think that it's not just BTs and other scary stuff that comes over from the other side. Maybe the chiral network can help us reconnect with more benevolent beings and positive forces from the past as well. If I may, Sam, I don't suppose you could keep an eye out for this mysterious someone from the past the next time you visit the scene, could you? And we have plenty of interviews to read, but I'm going to be saving and taking another break. As usual, I'll be back in a few minutes. So stick around.